and uh, how did it yeah. go back over the barriers? Yeah, it felt, it felt good. Um, I mean, we go over barriers in practice, in workouts, do like some longer stuff um, over barriers. So it's not like I haven't touched barriers since last year, but um, just the race preparation and going the full seven and a half laps over barriers. It's, I mean, and in the heat, it's just a different experience. So it's it's good to get the the pre-race um, the steeple moves out of the way because since this is like my event, uh, it's my specialty. Um, I get a little bit more nervous for this than I do for 1500s. So um, it was good to like actually have a prelim and get that out of the way and. Um, Regroup for the final. And the coverage said that in the prelim, the steep, you have to be particularly focused because anything yeah. can happen, can go wrong. Yeah. You looked like you were very focused. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think part of that was because I was I was so nervous about coming in here and racing, and um, uh, I also like I know I know what's on the line, and um, it is it's especially uh, the race feels harder when you're not super focused and worked up for it. Um, just kind of. You think you can just go out there and it's a prelim and you're going to run 840 or 830 and just be able to jog it and then it feels like crap because you are like ready for how hard it's going to be. So it's definitely good to like be super focused and um, mentally preparing on having good good hurling technique and good water barriers and uh, being aware of where people are around you. So um, yeah, it just it makes everything a lot easier when you're dialed in. Why have you only raced one time this spring? Uh, mainly because Peyton Jordan went so poorly. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I, I went out, like, the, the end of season came up really fast for me. I, I wasn't prepared to start racing again and um, kind of went through the whole indoor season, went up to altitude and then raced a little bit and uh, came away from that and felt like I needed a little bit of a break. And, um, and it was, I mean, it was, crappy in Portland all winter. It was really cold and it was just hard to um, get in some really fast hard work on the track um, all winter. So I think partially it was my mentality going into that early part of the season and partially it was just um, not having run some really hard workouts yet to that point. So uh, I, think, I think I would have been fine had I not gone away for six weeks, but um, I think it was good just to get my my head around and get uh, mentally dialed in for the racing season and um, start living that altitude camp lifestyle where you just sit on the couch all day and eat and sleep and everyone's um, just tired all the time. So you're just doing everything right with everyone else and it just makes training really hard a lot easier. So. So there wasn't any injury issues or anything? No, 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 no. I came away from uh, Peyton Jordan and I was I was embarrassed a little bit and pissed at myself for um, racing so poorly. And I just wanted to go back to work and just train really hard and get ready for USA's. And um, had I stayed down, I probably would have run a mile at pre, but I, I don't think it would have been the Bowerman mile. I think it would have been the international mile and then, um, maybe something else, but uh, I'm totally confident in just training really hard for four or six weeks before USA's and then coming out here and being ready to run. So yeah, it was, yeah, no, no injuries. Yeah. I mean, are you, are you happy with where your fitness is at right now? Yeah, for you? sure. Yeah. yeah I, um, I felt like I went up to altitude and uh, I always feel like I respond really well to like one altitude training but also like warm weather and it was like 75 or 70s and 80s for pretty much the whole time I was up there and it was sunny and I was just happy about getting outside and training really hard and my body felt good and every week that went by I felt like I made progression in fitness and um, the more I progressed in fitness, the more excited I got about um, training really hard and racing again. So it was just compounding and um, yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at right now, but I still feel like I can make make a couple jumps for uh, Worlds as long as I make the team. So yeah. uh, what happened to Dan? Do you know what happened to Dan? No, I heard um, one of the guys said that uh, he grabbed his hamstring right off the starting line uh, and he had 
taken like a weird water jump like a week ago in Portland apparently and uh, like bothered his knee initially and then woke up and his hamstring had been tight and been kind of catching like the last week but it was progressively getting better so I assume he just re-aggravated it but uh, yeah I, I, I haven't seen him so I'm not sure. What's it like motivating yourself again this year getting up after the high last year? Yeah, uh, I mean, it was, um, it was, I kind of, kind of went in waves. Um, I finished the season and I was just incredibly hungry to get back at it. And um, I needed a break. I knew that, but I was really excited about the possibilities of this year. And, um, and then like, I went into the fall and was like, okay, I really need like a mental break because last year was really stressful. And then, like I said, indoors came up really fast and I didn't feel ready for it and then raced decently well indoors and then um, like was kind of excited about that and then excited about the outdoor season and then Peyton Jordan went so poorly that I was like, I went back down and then I was just pissed at myself. So like being mad at myself motivated me to get back into shape. So now I'm like super motivated and really excited about the season and working really hard. But yeah, it's been like kind of all over the place. No, like complacency issues or no, no, no. And it's, I mean, it's so easy with with a, a solid team. Like I'm getting dragged out to practice every day, and our workouts are really hard. And like I'm working my tail off to, to keep up in workouts and finish workouts. But um, yeah, just like there was, I didn't really like want to give up. This I didn't feel like completed and like I just want to quit now. So. Yeah, I'm excited for the outdoor season. Sweet. Sure. Hey guys, thank you.